you very much. Good evening. Juan. How you guys doing? Awesome. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks for buying tickets. Otherwise, I'd be emceeing a wedding in the Eastern Cape. <laughs> Thank you. It was an inquiry, you know, it, was a, it, it came in, it was an inquiry, it came in. I uh, get lots, uh, round of applause for more magic. Yeah. An Indian magician was screwed. <laughs> I mean, I thought Indian people were magicians already. <laughs> hey, hey, come here, come here. Look in your pocket. Yes, I just sold you a phone. <laughs> did, did, did. You see there, you just paid me. <laughs> FT. <laughs> are there are there Indian people here? Are there, are there Indian people? This is so cool. There's white people. Oh my god. You know, <laughs> No, I have to explain. Ever, ever since I started being blacks only, the number of white people <laughs> at my show has, 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 has decreased. And uh, I'm very, very proud. The last blacks only show I did, I think there were four white people. I'm very excited. Today, here, yeah, there's five white people. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, some black people are still arriving. Still, it's okay. I reckon we have four more years of African time. You know, I've never ever appreciated African time until in the past few months, two reasons. The first one was recession. Because as other countries are getting out of recession, USA is getting out of recession, the UK is getting out of recession, our government announced a few months ago that we might be going into a recession. Just let me to believe, obviously, recession must be a black guy. <laughs> I mean, really, the UK is about to come out after two years. America has been in it for over two years. Guess who shows up in Africa? 18 months later. Popo, Popo. Hello, come on, recession. What do you want? only time I've ever appreciated African time. The second time, swine flu. <laughs> swine flu has killed over 1,041 people everywhere, all over the world. Every 1,041 people. A few months ago, one African student from Stellenbosch University died from swine flu. A few months ago, all over the world, it's been on for months. And I thought to myself, finally, a disease that does not bother black people. <laughs> Let's be honest. Black people were shitting themselves. <laughs> like, oh my God, this is ever happened. So, bro, swine flu, trauma. already we can't fuck without condoms. Now we can't even kiss in public. I'll watch on, I'll watch. I'm sure diseases wherever they come from. I can imagine you can see like swine flu jogging at the factory. <laughs> you know, in the in the distribution line. It's like, like hey, swine flu, where are you going? Ah, obvious, Africa. <laughs> like our 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 is still busy there, go to Mexico. Also. 